on day on day. We are right back. Oh. Hello, hi Lori. On day, on day, and bon. We're just uh, waiting a few minutes to see who all joins us. So, just gonna go on mute, but uh, we'll jump on as soon as we see uh, who all joins us. Probably in about five to ten minutes. Oh. Hello, Hande Onde Babon. Hande Onde. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh. How about boy film, dog? Good idea. Oh, hey, Thomas, Velma's calling me. I'm going to take her call really quick. I was wondering where she was. Okay. All right, so uh, Miss Velma will be jumping on soon. She's, she's just uh, trying to get the uh, meeting ID number and everything. Um, okay, let's see. I haven't heard from Grandma Dorothy, Grandma D, Miss Marion, or Grandma Martha now. So, we'll uh, see who all joins us. Um, so how's everyone been? Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if, uh, if uh, Miss Velma is able to get on here because I know she wanted to join us. Yeah, oh, Happy New Year. I got one more semester to go and I'll be graduating. So Hey, awesome. Good job. Good. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. I You're know. very close. <laughs> can can you hear me okay, Melody? I'm trying to get my volume up. Ha. Huh. Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Let's see. I'm just giving Miss Vilma a minute. Oh, let's see. 
Hello? Boo, boo. You do trade labor, trade labor. Kathy, where do you live? Uh, St. Louis. Where? Missouri. In Missouri, St. Louis. Oh, okay. St. Louis. Yeah. It's raining here like crazy. I'm about nine hours from uh, well, Carnegie. I just came back from Mobile. Was oh. In Georgia. Or you walk out of a bar and they hit you in the back of the head and you pick up and change the dead thing. Fuck it on. All right, awesome. Here's Miss Velma. Hi, Miss Velma. You made it. <laughs> Finally. Oh my gosh. On day, on day, and boom. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hi, hi, hello, hello. Hi, hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. They own they bought bon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Finally. I miss I miss you guys. <laughs> I miss I our know. Class. I miss having <laughs> class. Okay, I now know. finally got the number right. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, it worked. <laughs> um so I was telling them that um, I haven't heard from uh, our other uh, mentors yet. Um, so uh, Grandma Dorothy, Grandma D, Grandma Martha Nell, uh, Miss Marion, I haven't heard from them. So uh -huh. I don't know if they'll be joining us. Um, but uh, since I have all of you here, um, I just wanted to, um, so I don't have an agenda for tonight. But I just wanted to kind of have some discussion and kind of like see how we can or how I can design some sessions that will be useful to all of you. And, you know, I just want to make sure that that we're able to do things that people feel are useful and, you know, meeting the your needs and everything. So I just wanted to kind of see if anyone has any like thoughts as far as like uh structure of sessions like do you like having an agenda and if you do then like what types of um discussion or what types of topics do you like would you like to see just kind of like i want to hear some ideas and things uh as far as how could these sessions be helpful to to everyone so that that was that's my plan <laughs> for tonight it's just hearing from all of you and seeing what what everyone thinks about um you know uh Wednesday sessions I mean like is two hours too long is do we need to have like one hour do we need uh to use like breakout rooms more do we need you know like what what things would be helpful I guess I'm still <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out the or still studying I should say the pronouns and also, I wanted to ask you about um, some of the games. You know, I know you've come up with some games. I know you have Melody, but um, being with the being around the elementary kids, even the older kids, they love games. You know, so I'm trying to come up with some different things that we can do in person. You know, and well, when I played the game, it was a memory with the animals. They love that. And besides that, I'm trying to just, you know, get straightened out on the pronoun part and trying to put some things together. And my goal is to write uh, a few children's books is what I want to do. I want to do that. Okay. Um, um, Kaiwa, uh, the Home Lodge, you know, maybe some of our, our uh, other ceremonials 
but something that the kids you know can use. I get oh, questions. that's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's my goal. You know, something they can use in the classroom with the little, the little ones. Definitely. And, go down and visit down in Lawton. You know, their Comanche Immersion School. Yeah. <clears throat> Gail, one of the workers there, she told me, "Just give us a call and come down." And I just want to come and watch and look. You know, see what's going on. Get some ideals. That's, that's amazing. That's my goal. That's what I want to do. I love that. What uh, what age group of children are you looking to, are you working with? Um, probably kindergarten, first, second, third grade. Oh, cool. Good age, good age. <laughs> start, out, start out little. <laughs> Definitely. It's a, they're, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. I've always taught junior high school. And I said, well, I'll, I'll come up with something for them. But they also love games. They, I mean, they, they're real competitive, you know, just like high school kids are competitive. So I've been looking into that. So if you want to share any of those with me, you know, I'd appreciate it. And maybe not change them, but come up with some more ideals to add. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, I'll uh, kind of see see what I can find and start sending things your way. Oh, this is Grandma Martha now. Well, thank you for that, Aho. That's exciting. Hi, Grandma Martha. Hi. On day on day and boom. Oh. We're, um, <clears throat> so I don't have an agenda for tonight. Um, I just thought I'd have an open discussion. Just want to kind of hear from people and see um, how we can best uh, design, how I can best design these sessions. Like, is is this, uh, is it useful? Is, you know, is Wednesdays a good time still? Do we need an hour? Do we need two hours still? Like, do we need to shorten it to an hour? And I asked if uh, people have like ideas about certain you know, topics that they'd like to focus on, uh, just, you know, things that uh, would be useful in, in our time together to make sure that we're, we're utilizing, you know, our time wisely and effectively. So that was kind of what, what I had asked the group here. And Judy had just shared. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's see, any... Uh, who would like to go next and share some thoughts? All right, I'll try to talk. Oh, here. Uh, so I'm not really into, you know, I'm not going to be teaching a class or anything. Um, but I do go out and do presentations and demonstrations and things. So, you know, I was hearing what Judy said, you know, so my goal with this is you know, so I, you know, I can say Kiowa words, you know, while I'm talking to the audience, you know, kind of thing. Uh, the, the audience ranges, it ranges from kindergarten all the way to, you know, college, universities. Um, I've been doing presentations and demonstrations for a while now and um, just wanted to, you know, add what I've been learning. So this is a good learning, you know, way I can learn right now, you know. Oh. Awesome. Appreciate that, Kathy. Yeah, that's, that's good to hear. So sounds like uh, thinking about, um, the different uh, language that you could use when you're doing those uh, presentations, things that sayings and phrases that might be appropriate to use with, with different age groups. So, um, awesome. That's good to hear. <clears throat> what about our mentors? Um, Grandma Martha or Miss Velma, would either of you like to share any thoughts on how we can use our time effectively? Any suggestions? 
Y'all should make like a, a another extra day of the week so that if anyone missed anything, catch up. I think um, like what you were, were doing um, at the beginning, <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think that was very helpful for the newcomers. I'm not sure, how, you know, how many more like the, like um, the ones who are participating tonight. They've been they've learned a lot. I mean, they've gone through a lot. But if if we get new people who don't really who haven't participated in the program, you know, they're they're going to need. Um, like a lot of the basics, which I think that when you first started out, there were some some uh, people that hadn't uh, participated in the program. So I thought that was really good for them. <clears throat> but, you know, phrases like, uh, uh, you know, like simple phrases for the for the younger children. Mm -hmm. Well, probably the older junior high, too, because if they don't know the language, you know, but like uh, just. Uh, you know, like review greetings and uh, introductions and, you know, and uh, like family naming our, our relative, uh, you know, kinship, fellow, uh, our relatives, mm -hmm. you know, review some of that. Even some, uh, we, were, uh, we were talking the other, last week, how we had, we haven't been on uh, Zoom. So some, 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 some of them, and even I felt like I kind of forgot some of that stuff. You know, you get out of practice, you kind of really have to, I was like, even in my prayer, I kind of lost words. <laughs> <laughs> so review is, is always good. You know, review is always good. So. Oh, uh -huh. thank you for that, Miss Thelma. Um, yeah, that is, that's kind of, um, I guess something why I wanted to ask, because um, I know over the past, like in the fall, like towards November, December, we had kind of the same group of people attending, um, which are all of us that have been attending for like five years, <laughs> um, or at least since like 2020 on Zoom, right? Um, yeah. So I want to, you know, instead of just like repeating things over, like I want to try to provide something that is, you know, is useful. And I know people appreciate the time to kind of connect and um, just, you know, talk with each other and reconnect and everything and learn together. So, um, but I also feel, I also don't want our, our elders to feel like, like, I don't want to be wasting anyone's time. <laughs> so, because I, sometimes I feel bad, like if we get off topic or we start, you know, like, just kind of visiting then I'm like oh we should be focusing on you know something <laughs> so that's that, that why I wanted to ask I'm sorry yeah that was a good idea though about reviewing you know and like with the kinship terms that those are so important you know I just got back from <clears throat> I had to go see my sister in Mobile she lost her her husband <clears throat> and we sat there at the table and you know she's in Rokawa but she's not here she's way over there and and that kinship, we start talking and oh my God, they were hitting me with questions from left to right, you know, because they want to know. And so it was really, it was really good. And, and there's, you know, I have nieces and nephews who are not on the Kiowa road, but that's all they want to be. And that's all they want to learn, you know. So yeah, that's important. All of it is. But review, that's good too. Oh. What, what is that uh, statistic that we ta used to talk about in KLCRP? Um, what is it? You have to say something 400 times and use something 400 times before it like kind of gets internalized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> something to remember, remind ourselves. So yeah, I'm, I'm always, I always can use review for sure. Awesome. Uh, let's see, Grandma Martha, what are your thoughts? Do you have any suggestions? Yes, for I'm listening to all of you talk, and um, <laughs> I um, kind of went along with uh, what the last two ladies that spoke, um, Belma and Judy. Um, today was our first day back to class. We started the semester today. 
and you have a brand new set of students in there and uh, realizing that they've already gone through the first and second levels, they're now at the third level where they should be able to carry on conversations. So we kind of started out talking about reviewing, the same thing we're saying, reviewing, because what I said, can each one of you just give me a brief little sentence and tell me what you remembered? What did you learn in those two? And some of them you wouldn't believe they said, well, I'm just blank right now, you know? <laughs> and I thought, well, that's kind of scary. So I said, well, let's, let's do examples. So I just gave them like little sentence things to think about. And eventually they start, you know, coming across and saying what they remembered or what they, they learned back then. And um, I have one uh, Indian person in my class. The rest of them are um, Caucasian, I believe. And I'm, didn't have, oh, I got two. Uh, uh, um, oh, I can't even think what their, their nationality is, but anyway, it's mixed pretty well. And uh, I know they've all gone through those classes. So <laughs> we had a lot of fun going over that. And when I was talking about our language per se and how you could learn it, the different things you can do to learn it, uh, things to look at. Uh, but the thing I came back to was saying that the best way to learn it is to hear it. You have to hear it. But you can, now we have the ability to write and read it, you know, but back in the day it was just spoken and they, mm -hmm. some of them realized that. So uh, later after class was over, I had one student come up and she said, that was the big thing she remembered was when I said, it's, um, the spoken language so you have to really listen and that's how you learn by repetitive you know mm -hmm. um, sentences and things like that and uh, so that was kind of my little quick review of them and I'm kind of big on that so when we come back uh, what I'll have them do is take some phrases and uh, pronounce so I can see what they remembered or how well they did or what they can do and that is the big thing is just to keep working on those words and what they mean and everything like that. So that's how we start. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's uh, starting a new semester, man, with your, your group there. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, yeah, it's uh, so so then I'm wondering. Um, so it sounds like like for most of us here, it would be most helpful to just practice having conversations with each other yeah. like practice speaking right um Just hear the words yeah which uh i don't know if uh if jane has updated it but i still have like his ou course packet the course packet from when was it like 2020 or something mm -hmm. um with the, like the little conversations right i remember we we used that maybe a couple times over zoom like in our wednesday sessions mm -hmm. um but to me that's like the the easiest go-to thing to like kind of because it already has things kind of laid out and we just have to say it you know practice yeah. with each other right like pair up so that's one thing i can think of is is to practice and that would help me too like just help saying things you know um <laughs> What what do you what do you all think, uh, Judy and Kathy? Would that you know, be? You know, Melody, I think that's a great idea, really, <laughs> because those sentences. I mean, it's all laid out. You, all we have to do is just follow it. If if we can, I mean, I'm, I don't know. Do we have to get permission from whoever before we do that? Well, uh, Dane said that uh, that we could use it. So yeah. Well, <laughs> I think I think that's a, a good idea. Yeah. Because it's it's those sentences, you know, and they're not they're not really complicated, you know. Aww. And it, I I think I really think that would be helpful. Awesome. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of. I've also been like uh, kind of uh, talking with Dane about like how he facilitates his classes, you know, for the like Kiowa two, and mm -hmm. kind of. I know that he does like this. Uh, he does like, well, I think you do that in Kiowa three. Which which one is it that you guys do those projects? You have like a lot of vocabulary that you learn. It's like a certain project. Like everyone has a project. Um, actually, we do it in level two and three. Oh, to, uh, okay. To keep them in the loop, and they have to develop their own uh, little briefing, and then uh -huh. share it with the class. That way, 
I was telling that they got to pick a different topic and research it and uh, come and present about a five minute talk. And that way the whole class learns something different, you know, about our tribe. Because I told them that that was the big thing too. I wanted them to know who the Kiowa people are, not just learning the words and the language and stuff like that. They could get that all kind of into one little, uh, like a plate that you're looking at and you've got everything there. Oh. But yeah, they, yeah. they do that in both levels, two and three. Yeah, those projects are so interesting. I remember one summer, uh, Dane let me uh, uh, kind of observe his uh, summer class. I mm -hmm. think it was Kiowa too, and they were doing those projects. And so I was in a group with, um, they had like different themes. Like one was on like camps, like Kiowa mm -hmm. camps. Right. And another like, so camping terms. And then another was like on birds. Mm -hmm. And another was like on like different animals and so another group had like food words, like everything having to do with eating yeah. and meal. Yeah. It was yeah. so interesting. And, and to kind of like hear those students, like really, they were actually using, like they're speaking in Kiowa in full sentences, you know, and they were just talking <laughs> about their project. <laughs> but I really like that. Um, so, so it's for, so for me, like that would be really fun because it, it reminds me of um, like when we had to study for the level one credentialing, um, like the uh, noun, pronoun, verb cards kind of reminded me of, of those project materials. Because uh, you have like groups, you know, of words around a certain right. thing. <laughs> um, That's something else too. Um, what I was thinking about, you know, I, I need some, or I would like to have a little bit of direction from somebody to fill me in and let me know exactly what I need to do to move on to two. Ah, okay. That's a good question. Yeah, I still need to finish level two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you Dane can kind of ask me. every so often. He'll be like, so when are you going to submit for level two? And I'm like, mm, still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> well you know we well we have some of the uh board members here with us <laughs> we could ask and see what 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 is level two all about does, does one of you want to share <laughs> explain it yeah uh, level two credentialing uh miss velma or grandma martha now what does that look like or what what should we do to prepare or yeah how do we proceed i wish dane was on here because he already kind of has a format <laughs> i don't want to say something different but to me it's just you're building on what you already did in your level one you're just adding more to it and longer um um, part of your project to get more information as you're speaking, you know, rather than just one little sentence here and a sentence there and your it's your turn and your turn. Uh, but to be able to know, like, what if I carried on a conversation with somebody? How do I start it? And how much do I need to say in the beginning when you first run into somebody and then start talking about a topic and then eventually you're going to wrap it up at the end, you know, that kind of thing. It's kind of like your writing skills, you know. Um, I think that's that's the practice that's going to be in to looking for it to, just to build on that level one, and it's all kind of you know the words are still structured the same and stuff. You just have to know how to keep adding to your conversation, really conversation. I guess. Oh, but would you say that uh, like so if we practiced those uh those little conversations in that OU course packet, which I'll share my screen in a minute so we can take a look at them. But uh, if we practice those, would that help us prepare for level two? Oh, I think so, because there's a lot in there. A lot you get out of what's written there. And if you put it in your mind, then when you try to work on your own with it, it'll be easier. And you can always refer back to that too, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Let's see, I'm gonna share my screen to, uh, uh, see what um, I was looking in the credentialing folder to see if uh, if Dane might have like a cheat sheet or something. So here's uh, let me know if you can see my screen. 
call. Okay. Um, so let's see. This is uh so this is level one credentialing checklist, but I think maybe maybe he's still working on it. Um what is this right here? Oh, this is the old one, I think. Or is this is this the old one? Yeah, that was the level one question. Remember, they were asked. Candidates. Yeah, I use them both. It says a uh, level two right here. Is that? Oh, that was because that was because you guys were qualifying for one level one. But if you went over and studied more, and you could do those two, then that would put you in that category. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, because there's. Oh, no. Oh, go back. Um, I think he has the. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it in here. Um, but I know Dane said he was going to work on uh, creating like a level two uh, yeah. version of this. So, like, see how this is level one? So, basically, he would create. A level two. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's an old one. Uh, let's look here. Grammar. Okay. He he must still be working on it. I think he. Um, oh, there's this one. This is level two. Um, let's see. So, so for for level two for pronunciation and reading, it looks like we have to revoice the uh, the conversations here in this PowerPoint. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So we have to revoice these. So like we did on the uh, that other, you know, in level one, but these are actual full like sentences that we'd have to redo. Um, and then we have to submit that and then um we have to read out loud one of these stories and we have to submit the recording i'm trying to remember what he said but these are like the kind of a big a big difference between level one and two is we would have to we can listen to this recording and read it but then we have to basically be able to read the story in a way that's understandable in kind right right and remember we did some of those we translated some of those yeah it, yeah I so there's that. there it's probably got those translations with some of those too if you were studying them. No. Yeah, yeah yeah okay so okay so that's level two for pronunciation um And these are other stories that we could um, practice with, like shadow. Um, okay, let's see. The family terms, I think, is also different. Uh, let's see. It's um, um, I forget how... I know Dane has said what the difference is with the family, the kinship terms. Mm -hmm. Isn't it where instead of just responding, we have to actually like explain who, how they're related to us? I, like I on the, the it's, it, there's always the two way thing. It's going to be your on your parents' side. It'll be your paternal and maternal way of addressing somebody. So they always won't be the same, you know, they're going to change as you're talking about your mother's family or your father's family. Um, so they're going to have different terms. For that. And it can get real complicated, but it can, you, if you start out slow enough with it and absorb it, you probably get it. And I think they keep it at a um, level that the beginners can follow. That's how he's got it set up. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, so with the family, oh, here's level two. Um, have you seen this, uh, Judy and Kathy? 
on the study stat, the uh -huh. level two. Uh -huh. No, I haven't looked at level two. Yeah, so he's got the level two uh, family terms to study. Mm -hmm. I think we've gone over these before, I think some of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm trying to remember, like, what's different? Uh, oh, here's the list. Let's see. And then no, it's do, probably we have to do, do we have to do both, the male and the female? It just depends on which side you're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, whoever you're trying to describe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's definitely a lot more. That's a lot. 67 here in this one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And then, uh, Judy, you're saying the nouns, pronouns, and verbs. Here's the level two. Uh, what is this? Noun, pronoun, verb, level two, long form. Can be dual. Okay, this is the noun pronoun verb. So then, like, if we didn't know it, let me see them too. Uh, okay. Follow. Main, main, main dog. I love main dog. Main is the truth. Yeah. Oh yeah, all I got the plum. Um let's see. Allah ain't dog. Allah ain't or Allah ain't dog. And there's a uh, Looks like there's 15 of these to practice. So this is something we could practice. <laughs> practice saying these. Um, okay, let me see, let me go back to the level two. Uh, so, and then the Kaiwa conversations, like, um, like you said, Grandma Martha, uh, we would have to kind of just carry it on farther. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to add more to it for, with a level two is adding to it. You know the oh. basic part. Yeah. So the number two is the level two word, right? Our phrase, yeah. You, you're you just <laughs> adding, more, like adding more to your conversations, what it's doing. Yeah. Rather than that little for, uh, level one basics, you know, that you did. Huh. Uh huh. You just, you're adding on to that with your conversation with level two. It's more in it. Oh, okay. okay. I'm flipping through them really quick to see. Do you do like slash unstuck? Okay, so that's level two conversations. Um, let's see. Okay, here's noun pronoun verb for level two. Uh, anim animate human in crowd only plural. Okay, I'm not really sure exactly what that means, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, family, I see that. Thank you. Um, let's see. They go. They uh, They go. A dava. Would this be not they go? Yeah, because they're possessing. Nado. Oh, 
so yeah, we could add the no name or name depending on what it's in it no they go name though <clears throat> uh let's see they go dang i have to look at that chart again <laughs> name name doll mm -hmm. i get these all mixed up in my head so i'm always saying the wrong one <laughs> okay go to practice mm -hmm. go in doll I guess there's not too many of these. It feels manageable. <laughs> Is this the ain't off one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> go nay off. Nay off. I just remember that when we were first learning that word, it's like we made everyone laugh because it sounds like uh, we're demanding. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your family. Give me your family. <laughs> family, they are. Uh, they go. Uh, they go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, dog. <laughs> we failed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. So that was the that was this one, the animate human in crowd. Uh, okay, here's the family terms. Let's see. I think that those are all the level two ones. <coughs> so those are going to be tricky. Yeah, um, they are. yeah, I'm glad I'm glad uh, they're on study stacks now. So we can, you know, okay. work on it. Um, oh, it looks like he's still working on some. Mm -hmm. Here's singular nouns for level two. House. Okay, so we say this. Uh, mm. Oh, uh, oh, Adaba. Big Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Dava. Use for yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's see how you can see it. You see it. Is this the the ah Dava? Yay! <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So they take that you take away the the third person. I guess the trick, like for me, because I always try to use like what what verb, what type of verb it is. So I'd probably have to look up daba, and to help like figure out which pronoun to go with it. Oh, no, just go back and say them 800 times and you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Um, and, um, Oh, and Gosh, don't remember. Anya Haiga. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. So. Oh, uh, See, that's, um, 
I think what would be, uh, I guess, because this is kind of set up kind of like those um, PowerPoints. And like, it would be helpful because I know we're saying this right here, but we could also say the other two to practice. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, let's see. And so, and, um, what's the plural of house or two houses? Oh. Anyone remember? So, 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 so. Okay, let's see, what was the other one? There was, I saw another. It looks like this one, it says it's unfinished, but deep uh, plural nouns. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's still working on them. <laughs> well, there's Courtney. Let Courtney in. So uh, Melody and Martha, do you think maybe um, should, uh, Dane might change that? Because remember that uh, on the... Um, like I, I, I see the dress or I saw the dog or whatever. Remember, instead of dog, uh, he changed it to, bon. what was it? Changed bon. Bon. Yeah, bon. Bon. yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. yeah. Bon. Oh, yeah. So he might, he might, he might uh, change it. Could easier. It. Easier to yeah. learn. Yeah. 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 Hint to him. Tell him to change it. All right. So we need to. Well, that must be why it's in uh, unfinished. <laughs> He's still yeah. working on it. <laughs> okay. So was Bo just the same, Martha, for one and uh, more than one? So yeah, I think you have to say it that way. And then kind of if yeah. it's plural, you describe it, I guess, that there's more than one. But it's not like it change, you know, changes up and says a whole different word or anything. Oh, OK. That, that yeah. was what I was wondering. So like if we had a bunch of houses, how would we? Well, I think that Dorothy said when you're talking about maybe a township, you know, you're going to have a lot of houses there. And she had a way of saying that. And it still has that word though in it, but I'm trying to remember what she called it. It was kind of oh, like yeah. a lot of, you know, a lot oh, of them. Yeah. What was yeah. that? I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. It was like many of them. Um, so Oige, was it though Oige? Oige or something like there's a lot of them. So oi, yeah. I think it was something like that. I'm not really sure. I have to look it up. So, I'll look. I'll I have to look at my notes too. But yeah, I remember that. Um, that that was kind of how we also talked about um, Grandma D's. Uh, the uh, I uh, what is it? Um, Grandma D had mentioned the ice sale that we talked about many fires and how mm -hmm. like we were talking about when you see a town or a camp right uh -huh. that That's word funny. that yep. uh talked about many many camps many houses mm -hmm. yeah i'm to find that mm -hmm. look it up that's why we got to keep practice and see it kind of came back <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> okay, <the nice>. practice <laughs> awesome um let's see so is Courtney. So Courtney, we're just kind of having a, a open discussion. I don't have an agenda for today, but I was just asking everyone, um, you know, just to share uh, some input and thoughts and really thinking about how we can um, make sure these sessions are useful to people. And, you know, if, if two hours is, if, if Wednesdays work, if two hours is still good, do we need like, do we want to shorten it to one hour? Do we still want to meet every week? Um, and also, like, what types of uh, topics or content would be most useful? And so we were uh, talking about um, just, uh, like, the importance of having repetition and having conversations with each other. Um, and so that's one thing that we want to do. We also talked about a uh, goal is uh, 
practicing for level two, for those of us who have a uh, big credential for level one, is kind of practicing and getting more familiar. Um, and then also just like continuing to just um, have conversations. And so we were looking at study stacks to kind of see what all level two includes. And then I also pulled up the uh, credentialing folder, which it looks like uh, Dane's kind of still adding some level two things to it. So I'm sure, you know, there'll be more in there also. But so that's what we, we've been talking about. Um, but Courtney, if you have anything that you'd like to share or any topics that you feel would be useful, um, yeah, feel free to chime in or if you want to email it later. Okay. Um, well, thank you for, uh, sorry, I'm late. And um, I'm glad that <clears throat> we're back on Wednesdays, but I would agree that, well, the most, um, I feel like most useful time that or where where I really get a lot um, of uh, use of our time on here is whenever we spent um, studying for credentialing and the conversation practice, all the different components of the the credentialing, and I've been wanting to start getting. Um, spending my time on practicing for level two and I also like whenever we translate um, I know we're trying to translate the um, Kiowa Proverbs and I really enjoy that a lot and um, the conversation practice so all of those things are really helpful for me and yeah I feel like a, a little bit resty <laughs> whenever we're not consistent so um I like having my Wednesdays blocked off for this time and try to respect that with um everything else that I know everybody has with our schedules and families so um that would be where I would like to put my time is on conversation and the credentialing portions of it and then I guess, are, are we going to still use Sundays for trying to translate and work on, I know we were doing the Proverbs, but the, um, whenever yeah, we use the, it for songs and the recordings. Ha, yeah, that was the idea. I think uh, talking with uh, many of the, um, of our elders that have participated, um, they really like having that Sunday afternoon to kind of um, listen to, you know, really work, listen to the different uh, Kiowa culture program recordings and also the other, like other recordings, you know, like the Hanks collection or looking at Labar notes or looking at like the Indians for Indians, you know, recordings, that type of thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we can definitely do that um, still. So that's still available, um, unless of course there's a Kiowa happening going on like Tonkonga or something or Gore Clan, you know, but um, yeah, or or like a, a holiday, but yeah, those Sundays we can still do. Um, yeah, Wednesdays. Uh, so we were all just talking about how we felt, uh, we all feel like off because we haven't been practicing and talking. So we all have to kind of like remind ourselves of of uh, speaking and everything. So um, definitely appreciate your feedback, Courtney. Um, let me uh, share. So one idea that we talked about was going back to, I think we've done this a few times. Courtney, you might remember. Uh, we've used the uh, textbook from uh, the OU uh, summer class. Um, I think the last time Dane updated it was like in 2020. Um, so I'm sharing my screen again. Can can y'all see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the uh, course packet from the uh, summer class in 2020. Um, and what I was thinking, because we all were talking about conversations is in this book, like probably the the easiest way, like 
for me uh, that I can think of is using, where is it? Hold on, I'm scrolling. These little, these like he calls them oral quiz practices, but they're, you know, with every lesson you add the vocabulary from the lesson. And so these are the new phrases. And then basically what we could do um, is we could pair up and practice talking with each other. Um, and we could do that like as a group, um, like every, each, each one pair off and then we practice saying, I think that's what we've done before. We could also use breakout rooms if that's easier for people um, to, to practice. And as you know, like we could start, obviously the first lesson is gonna be pretty straightforward for many of us since we've already used these phrases before. But like, if we get further on, like, you know, further on in the lessons, like this is lesson six. Um, sorry for the scrolling. I don't see a conversation there. But anyway, I thought there were conversations. Maybe it's every so often. Okay, there's one. So it gets a little, a little more complicated, a little longer. The conversation gets longer. Um, so something that was helpful, um, there was a, a few months there, I want to say maybe a couple of years ago, where Dane had uh, me and uh, Travis get on. And so Dane played the role of the checker, uh, basically like the person, the resource that we could go to if we didn't know. Um, but then he had like basically me and Travis had to take turns using these, uh, talking to each other with these. So that was really fun. It was good practice. Um, so we could start doing that on Wednesdays if everyone, we could just start with, you know, the lesson one and work our way up and then, you know, repeat as we need to. What do y'all think? Oh, sounds good to me. Awesome. Um, so, so basically what it sounds like if, uh, we're using the course packet, um, I think everyone should have it. It's in the Google Drive, um, but I will email it out also. So, and um, Dane did say that we could use it. <laughs> so, Aho Dane and Aho Grandma Martha for for putting this together. Um, we'll definitely use it. Uh, but um, we also just have to remember that it um, there might be some like grammar errors and things in it. But um, Dane doesn't update this anymore because he uses the PowerPoint. So we just have to, you know, acknowledge that. Um, but we could start by practicing these in the first part of the lesson. Um, so, and then we can go into the conversations. What do, what do you think? Would that be a good use of our time? um so does that sound sound like a plan yes. oh yeah i like to print that oh. off so i have it going well it's only 329 pages so <laughs> oh, well i printed the don't tell me i print that 800 page and my printer you, so you are committed you are committed uh, that's amazing that's amazing it, it, is there a way we could take a page at a time out of that or you know a couple of pages and yeah break it up or something for us yeah so so i did uh, i think i created a version that only has because you know there's like a lot of worksheets and stuff but um Oh gosh, I, I let me look for it. But I think we have a version of this where it's just kind of like the front. So like it's the lesson 
So he has the lesson here where you practice like what you say and then how you respond. And oh, then yeah. he has yeah. the, the definitions or the translations. And then he has the the Kiowa, um, the literal and the free translation. So, you know, so you kind of get to know the order of Kiowa, like the way the words are. Um, and then like, this is kind of, this is useful. The common mistakes is really helpful. But then there's all this, like these worksheets, which um, my daughter and I were doing these worksheets just to kind of practice for our own, you know, learning. But the oral quizzes would be what we would probably use the most. Um, and as you can see, they are written in English. So <laughs> that's why we would have to practice the um, beginning part. So, and then the way that they wrote this is, this is quiz five, like so lesson five, but it includes the vocabulary from all of the previous lessons from like lessons one through five is included here. So it's, it's cumulative, I guess. Um, that's, that's what's kind of cool is it like, kind of forces you to kind of repeat the, the phrases that you've learned in a previous lesson so you don't forget them. Um, so these are fun. And then each one has uh, these note cards that you could print out if that's your thing, or you have worksheets, fill in uh, the pronoun practice, which is kind of cool. So um, yes, if you do have a printer of your, or if you have a way to print it, um, it is super useful. I printed it off in a couple binders for my daughter and I to kind of practice with each other. Um, this is kind of fun too, the sentence practice, if you like worksheets. <laughs> um, and then like towards the end of it, so I think it goes up to like less than, is it 12 or? Sometimes 15? it's up to 14. Or okay. 14. So yeah. I did one through four. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now, yeah. Okay. That's kind of slow. No, no, less than five. I did one through four. Travis was teaching it. Bacon. Oh, cool. That he used that format. Yeah. It is a very useful, helpful format. Like, I think it's super I don't useful. I did that, how he broke it up, but he was able to give me one through four and then class ended. So that was the beginning, Kiowa. And then I don't know how you would get five, you know, less than five. Just pull that out instead of printing all of them at once you know right so you're saying maybe uh print off just one lesson at a time yeah so that, okay yeah i could do that that's that's pretty easy um is basically so let's see if we want to get on a schedule so i'll kind of have to map it out um right and then maybe like at the beginning you know send everyone like i don't know a couple lessons so that way people can start studying and practicing and then we'll be ready to practice together in our sessions um for that lesson but we'll need to go through one through four over again ha huh. <laughs> <laughs> which you're you already have but but yeah, yeah. I, could, I could definitely break it up um so you're saying just the uh just each lesson as its own little file yeah that makes it a lot more manageable because I think each lesson is maybe like between five to 10 pages long. So it's not yeah. <laughs> too bad. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. <laughs> and then that way we can finish that that lesson, you know, really dig into it and, you know, uh, everybody on the same page, you know. Oh, definitely. Um, I like this one. This is what I want to try to practice more with is using more of the optional words and phrases. Um, so this is kind of a fun one is, you know, like using the negative responses, um, which I know we talked about that in the fall, but, um, and then like, you know, different responses to when someone's asking you how you're doing, <laughs> if you're like, you want to be real honest with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I like these optional, this, this is a, a nice like kind of cheat sheet, I guess. Um, so that's something that I want to work on practicing is using more like variety of responses instead of just using the same um, 
my default responses. Hyundai. 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 <laughs> or get a uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my answer for everything. Um, and then after the optional words and phrases, there's there's quite a few of them. Uh, they're, they're really helpful. And then the back of the textbook has um, the tribe names, like what we called the tribes, different tribes around, um, which is really awesome. Uh, and then ethnicities, our bands, our Sundance Circle bands, our societies, and then colloquialisms, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I just I just think this textbook is probably one of the most awesome things that y'all ever created. <laughs> um, Dane and Grandma Martinell and everyone at OU, like, man, it's so helpful. Yeah. <laughs> and then I don't know if, um, I don't remember seeing this, but this is all the, uh, the the kinship yeah. terms but there's a definition for each one this might be a, this would help me study <laughs> for that kinship because it puts it all in one one place yeah that's cool let me scroll up to where it starts family and possession so this is what we have to know for level two guys um so this might help Maybe I'll I'll split this out. I'll um make this into a separate file so that it just splits out the kinship. And then that way when you go on study stacks, you can see how it all fits together. Um, and then there's all the talking about the body parts, commands. <sighs> really um comprehensive. All right. Well, that sounds like a good place to start. Are we doing an hour or two hours? Um, okay, that's a good question. What is a good time for everyone? Is that so? I know we set aside 6 30 to 8 30. Do we want to keep the two hours? Do we want to do like an hour and a half, like 7 to 8 30? Uh, do we want to? do like an hour either 6 30 to 7 30 or 7 30 to 8 30. what do you think seven to nine <laughs> okay seven to nine okay okay that's kind of late <laughs> <laughs> pushing up against our bedtime <laughs> i was getting in the morning hey no <laughs> <laughs> oh in the morning I say, oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I hour. like the time. Of, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'd say an hour and a half with the option to go longer if we have to. Oh, that's a good. I like that compromise. <laughs> what were like you going to say? Time that it, that I like the time that it is now, and I, and I like Judith's suggestion. Uh, but going till nine would be late for me. <laughs> yeah for, same here for, with the crew mostly <laughs> yeah all the kids and their homework depending on <laughs> what they're doing um i don't um i i one thing i was gonna ask i know we've tried this at different times was um and miss um and maybe our elder mentors um grandma martha maybe you would kind of be able to tell us too with your class experience but um where we've tried to i guess at what point and well i guess trying to stay in kiowa and i know like i've heard different ones say like trying to keep it um like build on however long you're able to stay talking in kiowa with using all of our conversation and help phrases and everything mm -hmm. Um, I guess if we can start trying to practice that, because I think that would be something really a good um, thing to see and, or to be able to do. 
and get us conversing. Oh, but, oh, like that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I, like I, just if we're gonna like if we're gonna like maybe use the last thirty okay. minutes or whatever, or just kind of put putting a portion of our time into that. Okay. After, oh. Yeah, with the practice. We could do that, um, and we could. Um, I would say, like, because uh, it sounds like we all want to. Like right now, we're kind of rusty, so we probably need a couple weeks yeah. to get back on track. Um, but maybe if we uh, did like an immersion, because when I taught, uh, when I had my childcare teachers, we called them immersion sessions, and we could go for thirty minutes in just staying in the language. Um, even even if like people totally blank out and they're just like saying Hanya hi God the whole time, you know, <laughs> at least you're staying in Kiowa and you're not breaking into English. Um, but it'd be fun to try like um, to try that like maybe in a month, like after we've gotten like maybe three or four sessions um, done, and then save like stay on for that thirty minutes and see if we can go that thirty minutes. I, I just um, would be really excited because I know that all of our elder mentors have been like waiting for us to do that. So know, right. <laughs> that would be like a test, our midterm. <laughs> I think it would be good benchmarks for us. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. And then we can get feedback. <laughs> you can tell us oh. how we're doing. <laughs> um, what well, we if we get back to the time, yeah. uh -huh. I'm sorry. Yeah. If you get back to the time and we want to go with um, the hour and a half, mm -hmm. we could maybe start at seven, which would give the people who work more time to get home from work and get adjusted before we start class. It's oh. up to you guys. I, I don't work. I don't care. <laughs> I need to ride the motorcycle as long as the sun's up. So I can. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with us when time changes? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'll see you at nine. <laughs> right all night. <laughs> I was just thinking of people that have families and children and stuff that they might have to do a little situation uh, settling down before they start class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes that uh, that does happen. <laughs> um, so we could, um, so is a 6 30 start time still good for everyone or do you want to go like 7 to 8 30 or do you want to say start at 6 30 and go to 8 and then if you know on the nights we do like our immersion or if we're really like interested in whatever we're talking about we can continue on for that other 30 minutes um what, what do you all think uh, everybody put a time in the chat and then you can go from there you know mm -hmm. oh all right <laughs> put your preference in the chat then uh start time um if you prefer to start at 6 30 and go for i think 90 minutes sounds good that sounds reasonable to me yeah um but i think the uh trick is like are we going to start at 6 30 and go to eight and then tack on 30 minutes after or um, are we going to start at 7 and go to 8.30? But see, then if we tacked on 30 minutes, then <laughs> that would push us to 9 in time, which I know is getting late. So, All right, everyone put your vote in the chat, and we'll see what, what everyone says. And we could also, another option is, we could also practice on the days we want to do immersion session. We could practice for an hour and then save the last 30 minutes of that 90 minutes. So like from 8 to 8.30 for our immersion session. So we don't have to necessarily add time unless we really need to. I feel like we need Jeopardy music. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> 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 
All right. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. <laughs> All right, I think we have almost everyone's votes. Oh, I, I don't know why I can't get my chat chat to work, but I would put 6.30. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll add yours in there. All right, let's see, 637, 630, 630, 630. All right, it sounds like 630. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll start uh, 90 minute sessions. Okay, now, or do we still want to meet every week? Is that is that helpful for everyone, like to be consistent? Do you want to do every other week? Like what is the most useful? I'm open to any. I'll do every week. Yeah, I think every week. Every week. We'll yeah. say every week. Awesome. Every All right. Week. Majority rules every week. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, I know when when uh on the weeks like over the holidays and we didn't have sessions, I was just like, man, I feel all sad and lonely. <laughs> so okay, that's good. I know. All right. I I kept messaging you. I'm like, um, hello, you know. <laughs> are we gonna meet? <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so every week, uh, weekly sessions um, from uh, six thirty to eight, and then um, we can decide, you know, whenever we're ready to do an immersion session. Um, so that's something to think about is when yeah. you would want to do immersion sessions. Um, I would say we could try uh, practicing for an hour and then using the last 30 minutes of our time for like 7.30 to 8 um, to just stay in Kiowa. Um, and the other thing I was thinking, oh, I'm going to send out uh, the textbook and then I'll also send out um, the textbook broken down by lesson. Um, and then I'll I'll make the syllabus so that we have like our lessons that we're going to focus on, um, and I'll send that out. And then of course we can you know make changes at any time, um, and maybe like so so. And I still want to start with a opening and closing prayer for our sessions, um, so that'll be um, something on our agenda. And then. I always want to make sure we have time to just ask questions of our elders here. So maybe like at the end of our session, before we close out, we could save that time for um, if we have like questions for translation for, for anything. Um, how's that sound for like a rough kind of schedule? Oh. All right. Now, uh, I know um, Miss Judy and Miss Courtney, like, well, I know Annette and Grandma Martha with uh, OU. Um, you'll have to let me know when your spring breaks are so that we can, you know, make sure we're not uh, conflicting in case you have plans and stuff for spring break or that type of thing. Or, or Kathy, I know you're taking classes too. So <laughs> if you have any conflicts, you know, let, let me know. All right. The week of March 13th is our spring break. Just oh, same here, same here for my kids. So, and I think we're planning to take a road trip. So, <laughs> so maybe we'll skip, we might skip that week. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, and how, um, how far out do you want to go? Like, do you want to go to end of May to June? Um, like how, how far out do you want to have our sessions? Like, do you want to think of it in terms of like a semester, like spring and fall or um, yeah, what, what month do you think we should schedule out to? 
Okay, first off, my uh, spring break is March 13th through 17th. So awesome. that's good. So we're all in sync. Awesome. And I know about your last question. So hang on, let me think about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just kind of curious what, um, like, if there's, uh, like, do we need to stop for the summer? Is there a need to, like, May is like heavy duty for me. Oh, yeah, you'll be doing all kinds of. Okay graduating yeah. stuff right <laughs> um I'm well, we the end of May. yeah they still gotta get through this semester <laughs> did you say end of may courtney or end of april oh i said i'm good through may through may okay what do you think judy i know it gets busy in june and july <laughs> oh <laughs> I, um, probably to the middle of may maybe middle of may if you okay. have to go in, that's fine too but i might not be here because i got another grandbaby coming <laughs> Ooh, that's exciting i'm looking forward to that <laughs> that's in I may i think may 13th is graduation date and congratulations Judy. thank you uh -huh. oh that's awesome all right um may okay that's good to know may 13th whatever the kiowa tribe does they do something so yeah yeah well usually it's i think well yeah it's been kind of sometimes it's that's been in april sometimes it's been in may i guess we'll find out but yeah it'll uh, probably be around that time too but i think th those are usually on a weekend maybe i don't remember okay well it sounds like maybe like if we go till, I mean, I could go through May. It don't matter. I mean, I'll just have to, you know, take off hey, maybe a day or hey, so. I don't. Tell me how you did it. We'll right, see. How, right. you know. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, let's do that. We'll go to the end of May, and then we'll uh, see when we want to reconvene after the busy summer months. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, this has been super helpful. I'm excited and, you know, um, hopefully the rest of our um, elder mentors will be okay with our plan. <laughs> and hopefully they don't pressure us to do immersion too quickly. <laughs> right. We'll have to practice a little bit, um, but then, then we'll get graded, so. <laughs> graded? Uh, well, you know, some of us are going for I'm level two. I get paid for it. Ain't, it's going to be bad. <laughs> <It's> gonna be <laughs> well, for, for me, I guess like a grade for me would be if I could pass level two. That <laughs> um, okay, awesome. Well, that sounds like a plan. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see. Um, I'll send uh, that out um, to the group. I mean, I have a list of around like 130 Kiowas on the list and y'all are the ones that show up. So we'll just, you know, we'll do it. We'll, and uh, if people want like introductory classes and that type of thing, like, I feel like that's something that we could maybe, like I'll have to think about uh, scheduling like a, a class, you know, at some point, like maybe a summer class or a fall class that's more like introductory, kind of what we did in the fall, um, kind of more introductory. But um, okay, awesome. Well, I'm excited. Right. Aho, aho, aho de baja. Um, does anyone else have anything that you'd like to discuss? Um, otherwise, we can kind of wrap up and log off. Okay. All right. Well, I'll um, I'll send out a follow up. I'll send out the syllabus for the spring, and I'll send out the um, the textbook and then the lessons that are broken up um, as separate files. I'll update the Google Drive and send the links out. Um, and then 
I'll also, it's been on my list because I'm trying to get all the videos uploaded and stuff, but um, I finally get all the sessions from the fall uploaded. And so I'll send those out as a separate email as well. So you'll see that come through. So you can, if you want to rewatch the sessions um, from the fall. And other than that, sounds like um, we have a plan anyway. So if you think of anything else, you know, just send me an email, text me, call me. Let me know um, if you think of anything else, but uh, we will start next Wednesday. Um, we'll go, we'll start at 630. We'll go till eight and then um, we'll kind of decide if we want to practice for like two weeks, three weeks or four weeks. And then we'll add an immersion session for 30 minutes at the end of uh, our session. One of these weeks. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, on that note, um, Grandma Martha, they don't say. Did I hear my name? I went, oh. I went in the other room for something. I said, call my name. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're able to. They don't say. Oh, OK. Um, Okay. Stop upon my body. A hold they get on the anger. Um it don't get uh uh go it don't get get the go. They they hold it um it's all they the uh anger it more tame all they um our Heavenly Father, we were saying thank you uh, to be able to gather together and to be able to um, discuss uh, our tribal language. And then we try to save it and give it to future generations. Um, we thank you for giving us that ability to do that. We also want to say thank you for um, giving us a beautiful day and taking care of us again for another day. And to look out for all the other people who need help. There's a lot of people out there that are not in the same situation. And we hope that they have care through this winter period. Um, we also ask that you watch over people who are, are ill still and are in mourning. Uh, but again, we thank you for everything that you give us each day. Just a brand new day to wake up to. Mm -hmm. uh, we will uh, work hard to um, keep this going and, and try to keep our language together and whatever method we can find and we are also going to ask you to help us with that too um, bless everybody that could come here and be here um, we hope to be able to see each other again soon uh, and we just thank you for everything I hope Obal. Aho. Aho. Awesome. All right. Well, hega ba oi bon ta. Hega ba oi ton tai ta. Oh. Next Wednesday. Oh, oh, they own the. Get oi ten to um, yeah. Oh. Hega ba oi bon ta. Pedal do. Aim pedal do. In it? Oh. Uh. Hi, Aunt Velma. I love you. No, I'll go for it. Go. Yeah, go for it. Go. Song. Thanks for everybody right here. Have a good night. Stay healthy, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs>